Hey everybody, it's me, Greg Manorino. How are you today? It is Friday, November 17th, 2017. People, they're at it again, and I am urging you to have a look at what I'm about to tell you. Right at the open, once again, a huge amount of bond buying across the spectrum of credit worthy bonds. It's, it's a joke, I know. I, I cover it all the time. Um, why are we seeing this? If you recall, if you at least happen to see the video that I did last night, my summation video after the market closed, I, I explained to you how we had the credit worthy bonds kind of selling off throughout the day. I find that I found that a little bit interesting. I'll be honest with you. We saw a lot of buying with regard to the junk bonds. They are really determined to create confidence in this market. They will not allow any action in the bond market to rattle the stock market. So again, right now, as I am doing this, a huge spike. If you were to go to, again to my website, TraderChoice.net, you're going to see a big green spike right on that chart. That's all the buying that's occurring here in the bond market. Let me explain to you why that's very unusual here, right at this moment. We've seen what the stock market did yesterday, a huge rally, which means it's risk on time. Okay, People are moving their cash into equities. The stock market is going to move higher, although as I am doing this, the stock market is under a little bit of pressure. That's because of the bond market, but they're trying to fix it. They are trying to buy up those bonds here. But again, think about it. In a risk-on environment, no rational investor or trader uh, is going to be rushing into bonds here. So that should tell you exactly who is doing this. It's incredible, but they won't stop. They have got to build confidence in the stock market to push it higher. Again, it's being used as a political tool. And we're going to use it to make cash, period. Um, a couple of other things I want to talk about here. The, the U.S. dollar for like 10 days has been in a downward trajectory. Meanwhile, almost nothing uh, has happened with regard to gold and silver. We understand it. It's all being rigged. Again, gold and silver are priced in dollars. Weaker dollar means you should see metals move higher but this is a direct result of the rigging that is going on uh, and I've discussed this at length uh, as of late and I still have yet to hear myself back from the SEC I have nothing but crickets it's uh, it's very disturbing I have to tell you Bitcoin is near eight thousand dollars right now on its way to my target of ten I am certain we are going to get there in a relatively short period of time Keep, keep this in mind too. Whenever you see a pullback with regard to Bitcoin, you get all the mainstream people say, oh, Bitcoin's dead, Bitcoin's over, and some so called professionals saying the same thing. But every time Bitcoin pulls back, it comes back even stronger. Uh, literally laughing in the face of these other so called professionals. The only person that I know out here sincerely that has called Bitcoin really accurately in fact probably more accurately than anybody else out here is the guy you're looking at right here uh, again at 2800 I told all of you it was going to 5000 and above well that's exactly what's going on when it hit my target of five grand I told you it's going to ten grand I didn't I also said it wasn't gonna get there in a linear fashion but I did say it was gonna go from five to ten in less than a year and it's only been a few months here so uh, I think I have a very, very good handle on how Bitcoin is trading and where it's going moving forward, honestly. So again, just real quick, they're at it once again with regard to the bond market and you can see it your, for yourself, literally. Just go to my website, traderschoice.net, right side of the page, under the chat room, big green, big green candlestick. That's all the buying that's going on right now. Uh, I also believe we're going to see more propping up of the junk bonds. So keep your eye on that too. Again, well, it's, a, it's a confidence game. And they're trying to instill confidence in the stock market despite the fact that we had this huge rally yesterday. No, 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 it's not good enough. They can't even have stocks pull back just a tiny bit. No, no, we can't let that happen. We have to make sure stocks continue higher. 
I have no idea where the stock market is going to end today, but I can promise you they are going to continue to rig the bond market. So watch it, keep your eye on it, and watch how the rest of the market responds to the action that's occurring in the bond market. And this is why I've been screaming since forever to watch the bond market. All right, at the end of the day, as you all know, I'm going to put together a summation, a wrap up, and I cannot wait to do it because I'm going to sit here just like you. I'm going to watch the chart right on my website and I, I, I do it every day, all day. I have it open all day and I just look at that bond market chart and I go, wow, will you look at this? And that's what you should be doing too. All right, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.